those questions. Why isn't objectivism on people's menu? It isn't because it asks too much of them. It's why Jordan Peterson is so popular and objectivism is not. Because Jordan doesn't ask a lot of people. Jordan asks people to stay basically with their existing philosophical ideals. Jesus on a cross, altruism, certain forms of collectivism. He doesn't challenge that. You're determined by your genes. Don't worry, be happy. Or don't be happy. In his case, don't worry, suffer, as in the case of Jordan. What objectivism demands of you is to reject all of that and to take responsibility over your own life in the deepest sense responsibility. That is, engage your mind in your own life. Take control over your free will. Reject the idea that you're determined by your genes or your environment. Take control over your reason. Take control over your mind and apply your reason. Understand and learn about the world. And then allow that reason to guide your life, to guide your life in a new direction. Drop tradition. Drop what the majority says. Drop the center. Drop the old books. Drop it all. We think, we conceptualize, we imagine your life based on your values, based on reason. Now that's a revolution. That's a revolution. <laughs> yelling is not an argument is absolutely true, but I'm making an argument while yelling. So the yelling itself is not the argument, but if you listen, I'm actually making an argument. I'm a passionate guy. People like when I yell. So you have to use your mind. Objectivism demands that you use your mind. Objectivism demands that you rethink your values, that you re-examine every single one of them, that you make sure that they all comport with reality, that they all comport with reason, and they all comport with your own life that they're all consistent with your thriving as a human being. That's hard work. That's really challenging. That's what I love about objectivism. I mean, I'd hate to be a regular intellectual, middle of the road, nothing, who stands for nothing, who believes in nothing. You know, imagine if, you know, I, I hate inequality. So how much equality do you want? Well, I don't know, something, man. That's complete, that's so boring. It's so uninteresting. That's so lazy. I love, what I love about objectivism is it, it demands that you rethink. It demands that you think about your values. You rethink them. You examine them. You challenge them. And you make them yours by doing that. That now your values. I yell because I get excited. I yell because I'm passionate. I yell because I love this stuff. I yell because it's important. And it is important. It's important you take control in your own life. It's important you take control of your own mind. It's important that you choose reason over faith of any kind. And that's the only way I'm going to change. We're going to change the world. So I yell. Because this is important, guys. I yell because everybody out there is diagnosing it wrong. And it pisses me off. And objectivism has it right. But nobody's listening. Because it's boring. No, 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 because boy, nobody's listening because it's too challenging, because it's scary, because it's scary to some. Now, you guys are listening, so thank you. We've got a lot of people listening right now.